we're in the home of Cheddar here. You know, you can virtually see Cheddar Gorge from here. We're only eight miles away. The cheddar recipe suits itself to the climate of Somerset. Very much view myself as a preserver of heritage and, um, and trying to perfect the techniques that my grandparents used and make the best cheese that we can in the most environmentally responsible way that we possibly can. Morning Ty. Morning Rich, you okay? Got some nice cheese out for us, have you? We've got some Ivy's Vintage to look at this morning. Oh, nice. Nice bit of vintage cheddar, that's what we like. My name is Richard Clothier, I'm Managing Director of White Farms. I'm part of the family that make the cheese here in Somerset. The family have been making cheese for hundreds of years and we've traced the recipe back to around the sort of 1700s. And in those days in Somerset, there was probably, I think about 6,000 cheese makers. Um, today, I think there's only about two or three of us left who still use the same traditional methods with the same natural starters that, um, that produce the fantastic flavors that, that we produce here. We've got a few photos here of the family history. This little cheeky chap, that's my dad on his first day making cheese. And um, there's my dad there dressed for school. To be honest, he looks a lot happier there in his cheese making kit than he does in his school uniform. So that probably tells you all you need to know about most of the family. This is our Ivy's Vintage Carbon Neutral Cheddar. The silhouette on the front is of my grandmother Ivy. So she was a really special lady and she was the sort of matriarch of the cheese making business. She always said to us that, you know, if you look after nature, nature will look after you. And that's very much how, you know, Tom and I and my cousins have tried to run the business. So we're going to head to the um, AD plant, our biogas plant, where we generate all of our electricity from farm waste and dairy waste. And we actually generate uh, 20,000 cubic metres per day of surplus gas, which goes into the local grid to power all the local towns and villages. It's part of a holistic sustainability strategy for the business and it's about having a circular system where we give back to the land and, you know, we take the crops from the land as well and um, we want to make cheese in an even more sustainable way. So we're building a new, really efficient dairy, which will be the most sustainable dairy in the world. So, Di, what have we got here? How old is this one? We've got an 18 month old vintage to look at this morning. All of our cheeses are matured in wood. Um, we've always used wooden boxes. It helps to keep the temperature nice and even and keep the nice shapes of the cheese. And of course, they're reusable. You know, there's some boxes in here with some green paint on them that I painted on them when I was about six years old. So they'd be almost 20. 20 years old now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nearly 20 now. Nearly. So it's really nice to see the calcium lactate on the surface of the cheese. My grandparents used to say that was the calcium coming through from the Mendip Hills up through the grass and through the milk and finally coming up through the cheese. This vintage cheddar wins awards at virtually every show we enter, doesn't it? Yeah, so this year we've entered um, this age into most of the shows across the UK and we've done incredibly well. So we've got three main products that we sell across the world and they're our white farms and um, cheeses and our Ivy's Reserve Vintage Cheddar and our range of butter. And I love to show people around and show people what we do and show people why we're so proud of the cheese that we make here and the way we make it because I think we've got a unique story to tell people. <laughs> 